HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, HDHHI, has officially started construction on the last of three next-generation Aegis destroyers, crucial to South Korea's Korean Air and Missile Defense, KMD system. The groundbreaking ceremony for the third destroyer took place on October 17, 2024, at the company's Ulsan headquarters, with key officials from the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, the Defense Agency for Technology and Quality, DTAQ, and the Defense Rapid Acquisition Technology Research Institute attending. The final vessel is slated for delivery to the Republic of Korea Navy by late 2027. The new Aegis destroyer is part of the Jiangzhou the Great class, also known as the KDX-3 Batch 2. These destroyers are the largest in South Korea's naval fleet, measuring 170 meters in length, 21 meters in width, and displacing 8,200 tons. With speeds reaching up to 30 knots, approximately 55 kilometers per hour, they are powered by four gas turbine engines alongside two 1.7 megawatts electric propulsion motors that enhance fuel efficiency. This new class of destroyers offer significant advancements over their predecessors, the Sejong the Great class, in both ballistic missile interception and anti-submarine warfare, ASW capabilities. These ships are critical components of South Korea's maritime defense, equipped with cutting-edge technologies like the Aegis Combat System, multifunction phased array radar, and electro-optical tracking devices. Their weaponry will include ship-to-ground ballistic missiles, long-range surface-to-air missiles, and torpedoes, making them versatile assets for both offense and defense. HDHHI plans to deliver the lead ship, ROKS Jiangzhou the Great, next month, followed by the second ship in late 2026. In a testament to their advanced capabilities, the lead ship demonstrated its combat performance earlier this year during live-fire tests. The construction of the new destroyers is part of a broader competition between HDHHI and Hanwha Ocean, particularly in the realm of warship construction and defense contracts. Both companies have been expanding their influence not only in South Korea but also in international markets, especially in the U.S. where naval shipbuilding is a lucrative sector. Both HDHHI and Hanwha Ocean have secured certifications from a U.S. Naval Supply Systems Command, allowing them to compete for maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO contracts for U.S. Navy warships. Hanwha Ocean, rebranded after acquiring Diwu Shipbuilding, has made strategic investments, including a joint acquisition of the Philly Shipyard. Meanwhile, HDHHI has expanded its warship export and MRO work, securing partnerships with U.S. firms like Lockheed Martin and gaining success in markets such as the Philippines. One of the most contentious areas of competition between the two companies is South Korea's multi-billion dollar Korea destroyer next generation, KDDX, project. This ambitious program has been delayed due to ongoing legal disputes. Hanwha Ocean has accused HDHHI of misusing classified military information, resulting in a legal battle that has significantly slowed the procurement process. This legal entanglement is complicating the future of South Korea's naval advancements, as both companies seek dominance in the field of naval defense technology. With the construction of South Korea's next-generation destroyers underway, the rivalry between HDHHI and Hanwha Ocean continues to shape the landscape of naval defense in the region, influencing both domestic military capabilities and international defense contracts.